Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At the range now, we've got the Sky CPX3 380 ACP. Has 10 rounds in the magazine. Does come with extended base plate and flat base plate magazines. And you can see with the CPX3, opposed to the CPX2, they slim down the grip. And that makes it pretty nice. The CPX2 has a fat grip, this one not so much. Barrel just under three inches. You can see right there it says, Roebuck quad lock and that is the the contact that the top of the barrel makes with each time that The slide is cycled they could it actually makes contact in four different areas And they call that the quad lock sort of like the way a 1911 has the um, uh, Locking lugs uh, No rail at all, but a subcompact it measures up very well with the p365 and it does have adjustable uh, rear sights, uh, three dot sights, also comes in a stainless and black. You may notice some of the Sky models out there have many different frame colors. This one just stainless and black. I actually like the black right there and it does have that line across. Maybe that's to cut off or uh, cut out some of the glare. Very tight frame to fit finish. It is a hammer gun. I measure the trigger close to eight pounds. Probably familiar with a, you know, like a car. Uh, double action, no question about it. Full full reset right there to where the trigger resets but overall not a bad little shooter I only got about 50 rounds through it right now and seems to be okay I don't have it quite dialed in yet but we're working at it and you know that's pretty typical with any new handgun The CPX3 took a couple mags and I feel like I've got this thing dialed in a little better. So far every shot has fed, fired, and ejected. Uh, nice spring weight on here, a lot of people concerned about that, you know, for how difficult it is to charge the gun. Not difficult at all, and the more I'm shooting this, the more I'm appreciating the double action trigger. It actually feels quite nice. The serrations, a little curved back there, uh, decent. Decent grip for charging the gun, light spring weight, no, not a bad takedown, very easy to disassemble, and there again, all in black. I've got two rounds loaded up, targets 50 yards away, Sky CPX3, let's see how I do. Hit. All right, so I hit the first one. Let's see if the CPX3 will chamber around just by forcing the mag. Yep, it does. How about one-handed? The more I'm shooting this gun, the more I'm liking it. And I know that's pretty common, you know, you shoot a gun, you, you put the rounds through it and all of a sudden you, you feel a little better with it. But there's something about this that, that I like. I think it's that trigger pull. It does hold the 10 rounds of 380, as I mentioned. <clears throat> the sights are dialing in pretty nice. The only thing I'm missing so far is a limpress test. It's just got some rounds through it, but we'll see what happens here. We'll just hold the gun very limpresty. All right, so far so good. The sky is passing the Lipras test and I'm pretty happy with that. This gun so far has performed very nicely and I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Now, the one thing that I am going to do and I think you'll like this is run a torture test with the CPX3. I'm gonna put a bunch of rounds through it all at one time. I'm not gonna make it boring where, it, you know, you just watch me pull the trigger, but I wanna see how many rounds this can fire before it failure. So be on the lookout for that, it is coming up. But there it is, guys. This is my range review of the CPX3. I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. Longevity is the key. 
and we'll have to see uh, after how many rounds or so many rounds how well this performs but my initial shots right out of the case I just say it's not bad and I, it's, I'm pretty much enjoying the CPX 3 and 380 and if you like videos like this please subscribe and share I always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe